Hey everyone, welcome back to another of the Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city, or Animal Crossing City Folk, as you probably know it as. Um, we are back today after accidentally losing yesterday's episode, but you didn't miss too much. Basically, we got a monocle, so we looked uh, a little smarter, maybe. We questioned uh, our memories of Blathers having a monocle. I seem to remember Blathers having a monocle. I think that was in yesterday's episode, and I, I just kept talking about how I somehow remember Blathers at some point having a monocle. Um, I don't know if I saw it in Pocket Camp or in somewhere, some artwork somewhere, but I'm sure at one point Blathers has had a monocle. But I'm not going to get into it again. Um, and then the only other thing you missed really was checking on the trees, and I extended the acres. So I started working on the next acres below. So you didn't really miss anything. Um, so I just laid some more tiles basically, so uh, not to worry too much, but I'll just quickly show you they do lead over to here and then we we extended them down the cliff here. And you can just see we basically it's just a case now of extending every acre line down. So we extended this one down here and these ones here as well. And we just picked, we chopped a few trees down, picked a few patterns up just to make things look neater. And this is the, the acres here. So we've got our uh, tree is actually growing here, which is awesome. And this is our little picnic area. Uh, one day it will be. And that's in one acre. And then we've got this in another acre. And luckily, the only other thing you probably miss is our tree is growing. Which is awesome. So our cherry tree is growing. So in a couple days time, that should be... A full-blown cherry tree um, and this one's growing as well so we've got a group of six peaches but unfortunately this row of trees didn't grow but I was gonna wait for this one to grow and then extend the cherries and then we'll try and tackle extending the peach um, orchard as well and I think that's pretty much everything caught up we didn't do anything too exciting it was just another um, evening grind which is pretty much probably what we're gonna do today so maybe it's best that <laughs> you didn't see yesterday's uh, so I think a lot of the the places are filling up now but anyway let's go ahead and I think did we have any mail I'm just gonna run back home and check to see if we had any mail wait a minute <gasps> Gwen a new villager wasn't here yesterday and I literally just ran past this a minute ago and didn't even realize so we have a new villager already and it's really funny because Gwen is actually in our GameCube town it's funny how you tend to get the same villagers isn't it Gwen I feel like you've lived in our <laughs> city folk town before but I'm sure it's just because you live in our she lives on a beach in our GameCube version oh well hello I'm surprised Surprised I'm attracting visitors already, hun. I mean, I know I'm the new girl in town, but I barely had enough time to uh, today to unpack. By the way, my name is Gwen, and I moved here from Peachy. I promise that I'll have my home in perfect shape tomorrow, so please come back then. Well, welcome, Gwen. I love this uh, this room already because it makes me feel like I'm in like some sort of Manhattan kind of uh, top floor apartment building. Uh, I do. I am a fan of this wallpaper, but anyway, good luck, Gwen. Nice to have you. I like the penguins. We're we're a fan of penguins uh, on this channel. The, the penguin villagers, anyway. Not that I've got anything against real life penguins, but <laughs> uh, okay. So, oh look, we've got more roses. This orange rose is a super strong breeder. It just seems to manifest new roses all the time, which is which is cool. Hoping for some hybrids, of course. Um, oh, that's right. I saved the dandelion because I was going to put the dandelion in our house. Because I figure we're now in the late stages of summer. Summer's going to come to an end soon. And that's going to mean, I believe, no more dandelions. So I figured I'd pick one and save it whilst we've got the opportunity. Hopefully, I can drop it in the house. Um, I imagine it's quite a nice one to have as well. Can, have we got a tape? Can we put stuff on this table? I don't think we can, can we? Um, place in room. No. Oh, that's, see, that's quite a cute little flower, isn't it? Dandelion. I think that doesn't look too bad beside the bed, actually. Uh, so yeah, I was just going to keep that in here because we might not see another one for, for many, many months. I don't. I can't imagine they 
grow in the winter time anyway so that's just my little thought and theory behind that uh, but yes we have cut down a few trees as you'll probably see as we walk around um, so I'm wondering if we have a visitor today it's been some time since we've had an actual visitor we do need to go to the city today by the way um, but I think we might have a run around try and grab the fossils and see if we have a visitor wow these evening cicadas I think they're louder than the other ones I still like the noise though but you, you know when you're right next to one Okay, so we're just going to look around for the fossils there. It's not going to be, not going to do too much. I might do the acres towards the end of the video because I know it's a little bit boring. Some people might not want to sit and watch me just drop patterns. So we'll get some of the daily chores out of the way first. We'll head to the city because we need to check out Red Store because uh, it's after Wednesday means new stock. And then we'll end up just dropping a few more patterns and, and creating some acres. Uh, freckles, no thanks. I'm t I don't mean to offend you, but I wish... I wish they would like their catchphrases for longer than three days. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're not good enough friends with them. Let's keep, let's talk some more. Actually, there's really nothing wrong with the catchphrase I have now, Jumpy. That's okay. What are you up to? You still haven't changed your shirt. Change my catchphrase might have warped my whole image, Jumpy. And no one wants that. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling a bit more positive about it. Okay. Oh, let's check to see if we've got our lighthouse. I don't know what day it's supposed to be coming here. Moment of truth. Nope, still not here. Maybe tomorrow or Saturday. I feel like it's been more than a week now. Just check along the beach somewhere else, make sure it hasn't gone anywhere else. I think it does go on the peninsula. Oh no, I scared away the elephant beetle I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. There's no uh, no sign of a, a town fund anyway. Hey! Well, if it isn't, Dumplin', did you eat too much at lunch? You look a little sluggish. Uh, one more. So, oh! Did you ever give Mary that message I passed on to you earlier? Tell her that Harry needs to talk to her about clothes. It's seriously important. And be sure to say clothes exactly like I do, okay? I know it's a hassle, but... You did say you'd help. Oh, we will. We'll have to play as Mary tomorrow in that case, so Mary can deliver the message. Last time we had this uh, quest, they moved out before we could deliver the message, I think. Okay, I could have sworn I saw a fossil a minute ago. Where was it? Somewhere down here, was it? Nope. We've got enough money on us anyway, so we could probably head up to the city straight away almost. But yeah, we're slowly getting there with the acres, I think. Um, so we'll head up to the city um, and check out Red Stock. Hopefully get a painting and then we can maybe sort out the fossils and then do some acres and just do some bits and pieces like that really. Hey, Captain. Good evening. Lovely day we're having. One ticket to the city, please. <laughs> we made it, and it's looking busy. I was totally daydreaming there, by the way. They're looking busy in town today. Hey. Where the heck are all the restaurants around here? Uh, but no restaurant means no coffee cake. That's a good point, actually. Why isn't there some kind of restaurant? Um, anyway, let's head to what we came here for. Hey, what time is it actually? Oh no, it's still early. Let's go and check out Red. I was wondering if Mr. Rossetti was going to be here, but doesn't look like it. Ooh, Cabana Bed. Interesting. And a flower or a plant. Ah, now that picture just ain't a sight. It simply soothes my furry soul to stare at that scenic painting. But if anyone has it, I want it to be my cousin. We'll take it, even if it is fake. And honestly, I don't remember if we have the cabana bed. Uh, cousin, oh cousin, old oh, Red can't thank you enough for letting him show you this. It's just—it looks massive in this room, doesn't it? 
this is the first in the series of Crazy Reds original, so maybe it is exclusive. I can't tell if Red is saying that just to try and make a sale, or if he's giving you a hint that it's exclusive to his store, and like even Tom Nook wouldn't um, make this available for sale. Fourth we can risk it. We're, we've got a little bit of money in the bank, I think. I'm gonna buy this as well. I just love it when a customer has such a keen eye for quality. That corn plant is a special one indeed. In fact, you might say that is crazy. Uh, well, we're gonna, whoa, hold up. <laughs> we're gonna buy it. I already can see that you're a savvy shopper. No impulse purchases for you. Well, it's kind of an impulse purchase because I don't, I don't want to miss out. But at the same time, I don't want to waste my bells. But at the same time, the pressure of missing out, the whole, uh, that worry is just like, it overpowers. I'm like, yeah, just take my bells. It was uh, a pleasure, as always, Red. Uh, listen, Maury, do you know anyone else who'd be interested in joining our happy family? I'll even give you a new invitation. We really don't want another invitation, but we'll take it. Because we're nice, we'll just discreetly discard it. He'll never know. And now his shop is shut. Okay. Oh, stitches. Uh, where the heck? <laughs> it's funny you say that. No one knows where the restaurants are around here. Wait, are you peanut... Ah, oh, see, this is a good guessing game. Uh, Nintendo should just make a game where you just have to guess the villager's name. I wonder who, if anyone knows every single villager's name. We get close most of the time. I don't uh, go to the marquee very often. Theatres are kind of weird and uh, smelly. Uh, besides, I could take money for our uh, four marquee visits and like go to the salon. You totally could. Uh, oh, that reminds me. We should probably check out Gracie's stuff. I imagine most of it's sold by now. But I think there was one more shirt item we needed. Oh, wow, witch's hat. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, the whole lot has changed. Oh, so we missed out on the one, maybe potentially one Gracie item. Is that a hot dog shirt? Seriously, <laughs> a hot dog shirt? Weird, is that like a circuit board or something? That looks kind of like a, like a circuit board. Bit trippy that one. Oh, so this is the sweet set. This is probably my least favorite Gracie item, but this is so cool. I hope. Well, we should probably buy this in time for Halloween. We won't buy it now though. We're gonna save our money. But this is kind of cute actually. How much is this? Oh, this little treasure. The sweets mini lamp. And coordinated it with matching carpet and wallpaper to really tie a room together. How much? Whoa! Yes, yes, of course, I completely understand. You're poor. Yes, we are. I do kind of... <laughs> I ironically want the hot dog shirt just because it's just so silly. What's this one? Some kind of donut or something? We'll definitely have to save up some money and come back. I, it, what's this called? It kind of does look like a circuit board. Oh, the shirt circuit. Can I try it on? Oh, I like the way it comes off the rack as well. Oh, that looks wonderful on you. It's not easy to pull off an edgy outfit like this, but it works on you. How much is it? If it's under three, we're going to buy it. Oh, 5,000. We're still going to buy it. I was always going to buy this. <laughs> um, cool. A retro helmet. Can I try that on as well? I'm surprised they let you try them on here. Is that a football helmet? No, because it's got a visor. It's like a racing helmet, isn't it? How much is this? <gasps> 5,000 exactly. We'll take it. We need something new. Even though I am enjoying the monocle at the moment. Can we wear both? Oh, uh, we need to remove the accessory. So we can't wear a monocle and the racing helmet. Is it a racing helmet? Oh, retro helmet. Yeah, it kind of looks like an old racing helmet. It's pretty cool. We'll wear that for a little while, I think. It's a shame we can't wear a monocle as well. Oh, so the Gracie stuff must have ended at the end of July. I We got it all, though. We completed the set except the bed. Did we buy the bed in the end? I don't think so. I'm missing one shirt, I believe, but that's okay. We don't really care too much about the clothing items. Um, oh, it's not past. There's not a show yet, is there? We're too early for a show, I think. 
Let's go and see. I think it, because it's got a red banner, so I think it's not showing a show yet. Can we go in? Excuse me, sir. If you'd like to enter the theater, please buy a ticket at the ticket counter. Oh, wait. So we can actually go in. Welcome to the marquee. If you'd like to see the show, tickets are 800 bells each. Sounds good. Uh, what show would you like to see? Hmm. Has it got a list? Oh, disappointment, distress, sadness, disbelief, and never mind. I know if you do what if you do a specific one, you get Frillard. I, is that's Frillard's his name, isn't it? But I don't know which one. Let's go. Let's go. Disbelief. Uh, so you show that you like to see his disbelief. Okay, that would be 100. Oh, so they are showing the show then. I probably should. Uh, I probably should find out which ones Frillard teaches us. Because we haven't met Frillard yet, so it's quite. Other than Gulliver, I feel I feel like we've at least seen everyone once. Uh, thank you for your patience, everyone. The Marquis is pleased to welcome. Oh, we guessed wrong. Doctor Shrunk, uh, starring in the feature presentation, disbelief. Maybe it's only on specific days you can see Frillard. Uh, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. Uh, hum. Sometimes people throw rotten tomatoes at me if they don't like my jokes. The lights up here shine in my eyes and I can't see a tomato coming until it's too late. I feel like we've heard this one. I feel like we've accidentally already had this emotion. <laughs> so if you see me do this, it means I'm scared and tomato is flying at my face. Eek, no, see, it happened right then again. Okay, that's a pretty shocking face, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, the doctor is out of here! Okay, I'm wondering if we can find a list online of the emotions that you could unlock. Oh, uh, here we go. I found a list online. Frillard teaches six different emotions unknown to Dr. Shrunk. They are um, bashfulness, inspiration, outrage, sleep, sleepiness, thought, and agreement. So if you ever see one of those... We'll have to pick them so we get Frillard. I should have looked that up first. Um, so... <laughs> We're going to get rid of this one, I think. And we, we hope you enjoyed today's show. We hope to see you again in the future. So we should have a new emotion now. We haven't done this in a while. Is this a oh, no, well, that's cool. Why does it look like he's also putting his thumb up? <laughs> it's a shame that we can only have four at a time. I feel like there's space for, like... We could have had one more either side. But it's always good to have a new emotion. There we go. So, may as well while we're up the city anyway. <laughs> um, it's kind of a cool feature though. Something, like, I feel like it's something fun just to do. Like, if you, if you just dedicate a day to going up the city, it's like you're doing it in real life. Because you want to go to all the places. Another penguin! Igly. Oh, I don't remember you. So, I show up here without any cash, hoping to use the bell point. But my account was totally tapped. I spent all the bellage paying off alone. Oh, no. You do look a bit sad. I'm sorry. I wish we could d give you some kind of donation. Oh, hey. Alfonso. I recognize you. Uh, where the heck are all the rest? Why is everyone obsessed with restaurants? Okay, we, we don't need a haircut yet, but... I guess we could probably get our fortune read. We don't do this too often. We might as well make most of our city trip today, I think. Because we don't come here often. And uh, Katrina's room is pretty cool, isn't it? I'm surprised you can't get these. Um, like the curtain and the wallpaper. Uh, sorry, the wallpaper and the carpet. Maybe some people did back in the day through other means. Uh, welcome back, lost soul of the Virgo sign. Weary traveler of many winding paths. I can unravel the threads of destiny that surround you. Oh, by the way, it is, it's our birthday month, so we'll, we might get to see something on our birthday. I don't know. Might have to do some research to see if there's anything that we need to do. But nothing happened for Mary's birthday, but it might have been because she was new. So I'm hoping that we're quite friendly with our villagers, that we'll at least get a birthday letter or something. 
Uh, anyway, I, Katrina, will foresee your future or reveal the charm that lies hidden for just 100 bells. Um, let's get the fortune. Very well, let me bring in your star matrix into view. Please do. She's quite scary. Oh, wow. What was that? Like some kind of filing cabinet. Uh, I'm starting to see it. I see Triforce draw nearer, right in the knife's edge of utter exhaustion. This is the traveling star, the star that travels, the universe spreading blessings. Unfortunately, I can't say exactly uh, what exactly is being blessed. As you may have noticed, gravitational pull of the star surrounding you is on the rise. This has had a distinct effect on you, namely a marked increase in your attractive power. If you think you'll divide... Uh, I think you'll divine what I mean once you try approaching someone carrying something. Or perhaps you won't know what I mean. That is all. Yeah. What? It's always, it's just like a riddle wrapped in a riddle. So someone approach someone carrying something. Does that mean like Phineas who carries balloons and Sahara who carries carpets? Or does that mean a villager who's going to try and sell me something? What does it mean? So many questions. Oh, hey. Del, I was planning to stop by Red Shop while I was here, but now I'm not so sure I should go. That part of the city is awfully sketchy, you know. And yeah, don't waste your time. It's also closed. <laughs> okay, let's head back and do some actual work. We've got some work to do. We're getting closer and closer to uh, like a perfect town. Um, or at least being able to take the right steps towards a perfect town. So we really need to get on with that work. I'm calling it work because it's a little bit of a chore. Hey, Cap'n. Okay, we are back. I'm not daydreaming this time. We have arrived in Moriland wearing our latest helmet. Oh, we didn't put the shirt on. Um, there we go. Awesome. I mean, it's a bit of a... a funky outfit a little bit bizarre but hey no complaints here I like to do some what is that oh uh, it's Walker you're carrying a watering can it's Pookie let's have fun in the Sun let's play the whole day I think flowers love water as much as I love rice milk I bet on hot days they're all like man I could really go for a frosty glass of water in a comic book my Probably. I suppose we should... Oh wait, how much space have we got in our pockets? We don't have too much space. Um, okay, we're going to go and donate this fossil and painting first. And then we'll think about clearing some pocket space and getting on with our chores. As always, getting distracted by one thing or another. Do you like my new retro helmet blathers? And please tell me someone else. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about it. Please tell me someone else remembers Blathers wearing a monocle at some point. I've seen it somewhere. I'm sure. Okay, here's a, a scenic painting. Uh, what a treat for the eyes! This is a scenic painting. Upon. Oh no! This is not the original. No, it's a shameless forgery. <laughs> Under no circumstances may we display it. I trust you understand our stance. Blathers is just probably like. Where does this guy keep getting all these forgeries from? Uh, luckily, we do have a fossil, so maybe we can win some uh, credibility back. There you go. We only need three. I think the T-Rex torso, the Stego torso, and then another torso from the big one at the back that I can't remember the name of. A Seismo skull. Yeah, we've already donated. That's fine. We'll sell it then. Don't worry about it. More money for us. Um, but yeah, okay, we'll sell this then. Uh, the for We used to keep the forgeries, but there's just no point in keeping them now. Probably should just throw it in the recycling bin. I like to use the features properly, so I'm going to just throw it in the recycling bin rather than try and flog it to nook. Um, and, you never know, maybe there's an item that we can exchange it for in the recycling. Um, no, not today. Right, where is the um, painting gone? There we go. 
for some reason I was looking for a different kind of item. I was looking for like a painting icon. <laughs> but I forget, it's just a furniture item. But we'll head to Nooks now, have a check of there, and then we can end on things. Been a little bit busier today than I thought it would be actually. But we'll end we'll still end on doing some more acres. The quicker we get these outlined, the quicker we can get the trees in the right locations, and the quicker we can get rid of the acre outlines, basically. Uh, so hopefully Nook has something cool for us today. Hey Nook. Um, I want to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Cabana bed. Hopefully we can buy that again if we need it. Corn plant. Flowery shirt's going to have to go. And the monocle's going to go, which is a shame because I did like the monocle. But it doesn't really go with our current helmet. So we're pretty close also, by the way, to getting the gold status. So we have to get our members points every single day. So close, just under 250 points we need. Um, I'm holding off buying flowers at the moment as well, by the way, because we've filled nearly every villager plot so far. <laughs> so, ooh, pear dresser. I like seeing the stuff, uh, fruit stuff in here. Table, green lamp, a toilet. Do you remember that phase where we were just getting a toilet from balloons, toilets from villagers? Nothing new in here though. I don't think, I think we've pretty much had it all. Thank you very much. Please come and see us again soon. We will, Timmy and Tommy, don't worry. Right, now we need to do some work. Uh, we've basically already done the top row of acres and half of the second row, which is what I did yesterday, which you didn't get to see, unfortunately. Because um, I made a silly mistake by clearing my files before checking the rendered video, which is something I normally do every day, but for some reason I didn't do it. And then when it came to uploading, it was corrupt. <laughs> but anyway, you didn't miss too much. You can see I've started bringing this along here. I've already done the, this acre here. So I think it's just the next acre along we actually need to do to complete the second row. It's this one here. Um, and annoyingly, I kind of made the decision to get rid of every tree that's on an acre line. That means these two have got to go. We probably will put them back. Or maybe we could plant... Actually, do you know what? We're going to plant some new ones in their place. Because that will probably... Yeah, that will grow better there. Do you know what? I'm hoping one will grow here as well. Plant. We've already debunked that it doesn't matter if it's next to a cliff as long as there's... Oh! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh no! What is this? That was Gulliver! <gasps> Where is it? Oh, we missed it! Is it coming back? Oh! I can't believe it! That was our chance! We hit it! We actually hit it! Oh! I'm so excited right now! I don't even know what to say! I was proper panicking. I heard the noise in my headset and I knew it was different and I knew it had to be Gulliver. Where, what happened? Where did it go? Apollo, tell me you saw that. <laughs> and then we got stuck. <laughs> we got stuck. I'm so glad it came back again and it wasn't already on the return trip. We got stuck on this thing. And I think I picked a pattern up somewhere. Yeah, here. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. So what was it? It was at like three minutes past six. That was quick. And luckily we only had two tools to skip through. 
Oh, wow. I'm so taken back. Sorry. We've been waiting for that for seven months. Um, I thought it crashed to the ground, but... Um, is that the next day? It might crash to the ground the next day. Let's go and check the beach. I think it crash lands on the beach, doesn't it? If it's not on the beach now, then it must be the next day. Because I'm... I've, I recall something about it being the next day, and I've only ever seen pictures of it on the beach, so... I can't believe we hit it. Thank goodness we had the gold slingshot as well. I can't believe it finally happened. I'm so excited for tomorrow now if this isn't here already. Oh, it's been totally worth this episode. It's been totally worth it. Six o'clock on a Thursday as well. Oh, I'm so happy. Anyway, what were we doing? I totally forgot. What was this? We found something. A spaceship part. Do we pick it up now? <gasps> a spaceship part. How cool. Is there more spaceship parts? Oh, please don't tell me we have to hit it again. Do we just have to hit it? It's not like Gulliver in uh, New Horizons, is it? Where we have to hit it like... Or we have to find five spaceship parts. Or like, uh, you know, mobile phone parts. I can't see any other... Oh, we've got a blue now. Whew. When I heard the blue, I was like, Ah, it's something else! Oh, wow. I'm proper... Um... I've completely lost my trail of thought and everything that I was trying to think. <laughs> oh, I'm super, ex super excited. That's so good. Anyway, where were we? Planting trees. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were dealing with the uh, the acre issue. So we need to get rid of this. I was saying something along the lines of I made the decision to remove every tree from acre lines. So at a glance, it's easy to see which tree is in which acre. So, for example, we know these two trees are in this top left acre. This is in the top right acre this is in the bottom right acre and these flowers for example are in the bottom left acre so whoo oh i'm so happy i don't know if you can tell i'm super happy that's so good i feel like we've waited so long for that but imagine if we only see him once every seven months and they say there's like 10 gulliver items at least that's going to be like 70 months <laughs> That's like, that's like three years or something crazy to complete Gulliver's set. I know you can do Gulliver hunts though. Oh my goodness, I can still hear the sound ringing in my ears. Also, it happened in the evening, so it kind of, it debunks some of the internet rumors as well where they say it can't happen like at night time. Because past six o'clock is technically night isn't it it's the evening Whew. anyway so here is our path here i might move this path over a tile potentially so it doesn't necessarily land on this the more paths we can get not on the tile lines the better we can't do much about this one here because of the pond Um, but we could move this one over at one tile to the right. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, yay. Right, let's get back to work. I'm so glad we came back from the city when we did. Right, I, I think they're in line. Let's just go and double check that. It's always hard to say. Yeah, I think they're in line, aren't they? So this ramp is one acre. And then the museum is in the next acre here. So another tree. We've done, uh, we've done surprisingly, uh, or planted a surprising amount of trees that are on the acre line. So that one needs to go. That one should be okay. This one needs to go, I believe. Oh, I can't believe we finally saw Gulliver. Well, technically, we haven't seen him yet, but we've... He, he must crash land tomorrow. There's definitely something I remember about 
something happening tomorrow. So whether we see him again tomorrow and have to get another spaceship part or... Or whether he just crash lands tomorrow. Hopefully we only have to find one part. Because I definitely can't see any more anywhere. And but we will have another look around because the last thing I would want to do is save and quit and then they disappear if they are laying around somewhere. But we'll just finish this acre off first. That noise of the UFO is going to haunt me. I can still feel like I'm hearing it as soon as it happened. It happened in my right ear. <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, panic. Oops. Getting too excited. Ah! <laughs> Right, there we go. Um, just going to finish this acre, take it all the way over to the cliff because there's no more acres down. Um, if we wanted to, we could highlight one line in front of the cliff. Like along here, but there's kind of no point in doing that because we know that's the edge, don't we? There we go, so that does the museum acre. So now we've marked off two rows of acres, almost. Just got to finish this line here to join up there we go so that joins that up but you see what i mean I'd, I'd like to have a line between the path and the and here if i could by moving this path over but then the tr it'll be on the edge and the trees will be in the way just have to remember that the edges of the acres aren't permanent this is just for us to map out the acres and it doesn't look too bad Right, let's have another search for... Let's have a look at this spaceship part. Uh, whoops. I hiccuped as I picked that up there. Drop, quit, spaceship part. So it's just a cog. Uh, mini Dharma, cool. That's a lucky item. We have been lucky today. So I don't, don't know what... Maybe Katrina has something to do with that. But let's keep our eyes open for any... Other spaceship parts, I don't know if there's different things like a screw or I don't know, a piece of metal or if it's just cog parts. But there might only be one. It's not something I've ever experienced before. Oh, Dumplin', I keep meaning to give you this and I keep forgetting. Oh, maybe this is what Katrina's talking about because Harry's carrying a shovel. I know you've had an eye on for some for a while, so here you go. What is it? Oh, what do you think of this BB shirt? Oh, thank you. The reason I want to give it to you, but it's been so long now I can't remember. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, thank you. We will enjoy every bell that it makes. Um, BB shirt. There we go. We're not going to wear it because we literally have just bought a cool new Gracie shirt. Okay, I can't see any more. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Luckily, it wasn't the money rock. <laughs> I'm not picking them paths up every time I do that money rock. Wow, that thing moved so quick. I can't believe we... Well, we didn't really even catch up with it. If it hadn't have come back again, uh, we wouldn't have hit it. And if we hadn't have had the gold... Slingshot, we wouldn't have hit it. I'm so I'm so excited for you all to see Gulliver fly over. Whoo! What a day! I'm shaking a little bit. I know it's probably silly, but it's just really exciting. It's always when, like, I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing, and when when you experience something new that you've never experienced before, especially in a game that's basically like 15 years old. It's just such a good feeling. It just feels, it just, it's just, it just makes me smile. Anyway, <laughs> we'll just have another look round. I don't think there's gonna be any more spaceship parts. I get the feeling we would have found another one by now, if there was. Uh, but a new villager 
new Gracie items and Gulliver all in one day. So I'm guessing we just keep this spaceship part until we encounter Gulliver again. Either we have to hit him down again tomorrow or he crashes by tomorrow or something like that. And then we return his part, I guess. And that's how we get the item from him, maybe. I'm excited for tomorrow now. And tomorrow may also be when we get our town fund, so... Nothing up here. Getting stuck on the rock. <laughs> what, what would happen if we drop the space part here and then the... The town fund comes tomorrow and the lighthouse is built on top of the space part. No, there's definitely nothing. Uh... Oh, made me jump. I'm not with it. As you can tell, my, my brain is just... I don't know. Okay, I also, I do want to put something down here. To see if the lighthouse, if it does go there, if it forces the items into the lost and found. So I'm going to go and get something from our storage, I think. And see if that's what happens. Something that won't matter if we lose. Because um, it happens in New Leaf, so I'm, I'm wondering if we can trigger it somehow. Like, for example, we dropped a... A leaf in one of the villager plots and a villager moved in it surely it goes into the lost and found doesn't it so I wonder if the same thing happens with this so let's put in silver silver so we've got three silver trophies so let's do a silver trophy um, we've got some real paintings as well let's, do, let's drop the paintings we're gonna risk it We'll drop all these things and see what happens. I want to drop enough stuff that we cover the area to see if it does do that or not. And the genuine paintings, we've already donated them, so we don't really need the other genuine paintings unless anyone needs to trade them. Um, and we've got plenty of silver trophies and we can easily get another one. So I feel like it would be cool to get the genuine paintings inside the... Uh, Lost and found somehow. We'll probably go and clear the lost and found as well to make sure there's enough space in there. But this is just a little experiment for my own curiosity more than anything. Um, so what we're going to do is just drop a bunch of stuff here. Silver trophy, basic painting, jolly painting, proper painting, quaint painting. Um, I don't think it's going to go on the edge, so I'm just going to move it. Here. Uh, or maybe it will go on the edge. Drop. Drop. I do, is it going to go left or right side? I think it's going to go on the right. Do you know what? Let's put this one here. Yeah, this probably seems a bit weird, but this is just me doing a bit of an experiment. So we've got painting, painting, silver trophy, painting, painting. So I'm guessing the lighthouse is going to come on these tiles here. And I'm hoping they go into the lost and found. So to make sure we've got space, we're going to go and empty the lost and found. They're both basically only pitfall seeds anyway. Um, they've been in there <laughs> since the beginning until we planted a pitfall seed and not dug any more up. But oh, I'm so excited. I, I need to I need to just relax now. <laughs> Looking forward to tomorrow now to see how that interaction with Gulliver goes. It's funny that we we literally said about Frillard being the only other person we haven't seen other than Gulliver and then we come back to our town and we see Gulliver. We'll see his uh, spaceship anyway. We currently have 10 items. Okay, yep, they're all pitfall seeds. Oh, we can't put the spaceship. Oh, we can't put anything in there. Oh, we can put lost stuff back again. Weird. And in that case, we'll keep the flowery things there for a later date. 
There we go. You can keep these pitfall seeds. We'll sell everything else. Thank you, Booker. Thank you for allowing me just to take things that I just happen to say are mine. <laughs> Um, but we'll head to Nooks now. I think finish that up. We're going quite a while now. I'm still in shock, I think. I'm finally seeing Gulliver. I keep saying it like that, but you know what I mean. Finally seeing his UFO, which is just so cool. Sell all these pitfall seeds. Oh, we can actually sell the spaceship part. That would be really awkward, wouldn't it? There we go. So we don't want to accidentally sell the ship part. I might even put it in our letters just to keep it safe. There we go. Awesome. So tomorrow I think we'll also buy a bunch of stuff as well and try and get that gold status by the end of the week. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything today though because we've been playing quite a long time but that seems like a really good place to wrap it up. Super exciting episode. We kind of was just doing lots of things here and there and it was getting kind of busy up in the city and came back and then it was just there was Gulliver. So really cool episode. We got ourselves a new outfit even though I know it's pretty hideous but it's just fun to try different outfits and I've never ever worn this helmet before so I thought it's just kind of cool to use that. And we, after all, we needed it to race after Gulliver's UFO. So it kind of worked out. Uh, but there we go. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're excited for tomorrow. Let me know if you made it to the end of the video, please. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you, of course, to the channel members, all of you who helped support this channel. Couldn't do it without you. I really, really appreciate you. So thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.